Hello everyone, um, today is just a random video about making a solo lobby for Red Dead Online for PC. Um, it's just PC as far as I know. I know there's a couple other tricks you can do if you're on console. But this is for strictly PC RDO. So um, let's get into it. So firstly, when you're in your desktop, uh, search up Windows Defender Firewall. And once you go there, click on this advanced settings on the left side here, and then you'll get this popped up. You want to go to outbound rules and right click it and create no new rule. So once you click that, click on port and then go next. Select UDP and specify port. I'll uh, leave these directions in the description as well. But you're gonna type in these, or you can just copy and paste them in the description. That's probably easier. Um, once you do that, you can click next, and then leave block the connection, which is default. Click next again. Click next again, and I typically name mine RDO Solo Lobby, and you can add a description if you want. And hit finish. So when you first finish it, it'll enable it right away. You want to disable it so you can actually get into Red Dead, you know. So now you'll never have to do this again. You'll just have to re-enable it every time you hop on to Red Dead. So we can close out of this. We want to leave this up so we can have it later. And yeah, so now we're just going to hop in game. So you want to find your Rockstar Launcher, Steam, whatever it may be, hit the play button, and it should boot up. All right, so when you get to the um, main menu here, make sure you go online, and then I usually spawn at my camp. Alright, so once you load in, you'll spawn at your camp, or if you just hit the free roam, you'll spawn wherever your last were online, and here I am with my player. Um, if we go into the free roam menu, as you can see, there's players in this lobby. So what you first want to do is head on down to online options and just turn on uh, off social matchmaking, just in case. And alright. Once you do that, again, here's all the players. I'm not alone. So you want to get out of here, and then you want to Alt-Tab. 
to your Defender's Firewall, as well as you want to open up Task Manager. Alright, and then go to Performance, and then go to Open Resource Monitor, which will then open up this tab. You can close out the Task Manager. And what you want to find is rdr2.exe, which is typically the first black lettered um, thing right here. So what you want to do is right click it and suspend the process. That'll freeze your game. As you can see, it froze mine. Uh, I usually wait five, 10 seconds or so. And after a while, you want to right click it again and resume it. And you should get a pop-up saying you have changed session due to network error. So you want to close that out. Go back to that firewall thing you made. Right-click it and enable it. So what you just did there is you disconnected from the lobby. So you're in a solo lobby. You could do that um, only step. But once you, after about five minutes, you'll start getting into populated servers again. This, however, makes you continue to stay in a solo lobby so about every five minutes you'll get that pop-up saying you have been disconnected due to a server issue or a network issue and it'll keep you keep continuing to stay in a solo lobby so you want to close that close that we're back in a game let me full sight or full screen it since i get more frames if you're full screen but yeah now we're in a permanent solo lobby as you can see players i'm the only one and i'll continue to be continue to be the only one until you um log off the game and then once you log off the game and come back like the next day you'll just have to repeat the process it takes zero effort i mean it ain't that bad and uh yeah that's how you do a solo lobby in red dead online and i hope you enjoyed and hope it helped because you know no one likes griefers and or hackers especially on pc so yeah, hope this helped and uh, see you next time.